FreeCAD is an excellent free solution for your CAD needs. It's getting better all the time, including some big improvements coming out later this year. But like all software, it has some bugs. I ran into one of those last week. Stay tuned for a good workaround, but first the bug. I needed to create an ellipsoid dome. I decided to do it by revolving a sketch. So create a sketch on the XZ plane. Using the Arc of Ellipse tool, I'll rough in the elliptical arc. Select the center of the ellipse, then select the major radius. Next, select the beginning point of the arc, which is also going to set the minor radius, and finally select the other end point of the arc. Now use the multi-line tool to close the wire. I won't bother with constraints since this is just a demo. Close the sketch and revolve, creating a solid. I need to 3D print this, so export the revolve as a step file. All seems well, but when I loaded the step file into the slicer, it was clearly wrong. I'll just load it into another page in FreeCAD to show you. This is taking a long time. I decided to let it go and see what would happen. Eventually I get a solid, but it looks like my dome fused with a mirror of itself over the XY plane. I tried this in both the latest stable release and the latest weekly dev build. Same result. I would like to narrow this down to find the problem. If I create a mesh from it and export that as an STL file, it works as expected. I tried creating an ellipsoid primitive and split it in half using a plane, and that exports fine as a step file as well. Looking further, I found a simple workaround. First, I'll get rid of the failed step import. Go back into the sketch, select the elliptical arc, and convert to B-spline. That's all, just close the sketch. As you can see, it creates the same geometry, but this time I export it as a step file. Go to another page and re-import it, and it looks just fine. So it appears to be something about the ellipse object itself. Let's take a closer look at the beast line. I'll get rid of the imported step. Now I'll hide the revolve and open the sketch. I can select and delete the leftover construction geometry for the ellipse now. If this beast line version of the elliptical arc is to be useful to us, it must be able to be adjusted freely either by directly moving its points or through constraints. But as I stretch it on the x-axis, its shape distorts. Fixing it to the x-axis doesn't help much. The key is that the control point needs to line up with the end point. So I'll set horizontal and vertical constraints. Now it looks like a proper elliptical arc again. Because it's controlled by constraints, I can stretch it freely and maintain the correct curve. It may be easier sometimes to create the arc directly from a B-spline rather than converting from an ellipse. I'll open a new document and create a sketch on the XZ plane. Now I'll draw a quick quadratic B-spline. It's close, but the curve isn't quite right. For an elliptical curve, the weight of the center control point needs to be 0 0.707, or the square root of 1 half. In addition to the numerical value, the weight of a control point is represented by the radius of the circle around it. First I'll remove the equality constraint. And now I can set a radius constraint on the circle and set it to 0 0.707. That looks much better. The bug with the elliptical arc has been reported and verified. 
I wouldn't expect a fix in time for the 1.0 release since that is so close and soon feature and code freezes will be in place. But we have a good workaround for now, and I'm sure it will be fixed as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.